My name is Joan Rice and I'm a manager in the Business Recovery and Insolvency Department here in Harbin Simmel Holland. I'm going to speak with you today about one specific area of our advice, which has become a lot more common over recent months and in the present economic climate. I work alongside my colleagues Noel Lavery and Barry O'Donnell and we find that on a daily basis now we are asked to advise both individuals and directors of companies facing financial difficulties and facing insolvency. We call this area of our work pre-insolvency advice. Our work in this area can cover a very wide remit. It can cover the decision on whether to stop trading and when, and the alternative options facing an insolvent business, whether to reach an informal arrangement with creditors or whether to enter into a formal insolvency procedure. It is this hiatus period which can be as short as six weeks or can last for years which carries the maximum amount of risk for sole traders and directors of companies alike. This pre-insolvency period is often called the twilight zone or the hiatus period and it's a time when the future of the business or company is uncertain, when the business owners or directors have to ask themselves some very important questions such as, is the company or business insolvent? The solvency test is not just a balance sheet measure of whether a company's assets exceed its liabilities. A business must also be able to pay its creditors as and when those liabilities fall due for payment. So a company could have an asset-rich balance sheet but be unable to pay for the ongoing supply of the electricity it needs to keep operating. Is it profitable or loss-making at present? You may be able to show me, for example, that your business is trading profitably at the minute, but it could still be carrying such a burden of debt from prior trading periods that it is going to be difficult to keep afloat. Or the reverse could indeed be the case. The business could be loss-making at present, but it may not necessarily follow that it should cease trading immediately. The business could have a viable future, and the directors of the company or the sole trader have a duty to act in such a way so as to maximise the return to all creditors, and this is not always achieved by stopping trading. Could the business be viable going forward? When the company or business is in financial difficulties, the director must prepare realistic forecasts and clearly document what they are doing if they honestly believe and can demonstrate that there is a viable business going forward. Directors need to be particularly careful of what they do and don't do in this hiatus period as their actions will almost certainly be examined at a later date by a liquidator or administrator if and when the company or business enters into a formal insolvency process. So what are the warning signs and when should alarm bells start to ring for company directors? Some of the early warning signs to look out for are arrears building up in paying in land revenue, payroll taxes or VAT, creditor pressure building up and legal threats, substantial bad debt, the loss of an important customer, or a sudden reduction or a change in the terms of your bank overdraft facility. First and foremost, our priority is business rescue. We are simply not interested in closing down or writing off viable businesses. You may not have faced difficulties like these before. However, we meet problems and circumstances like these on a daily basis with different clients. We work with company directors and business owners to objectively review their position and see if we can take away some of the pressure, whether it's from their trade creditors, the crown creditors, or their bankers. Our initial consultation is free of charge. We can't promise you a magic solution to all your business problems, because that would not be realistic. But what we can promise you is the following. A clear, commercial, and easy to understand review of your current financial position. A list of the alternative options available to the business. Consideration of the pros and cons of each strategy, coming up with the outcome which best suits your business and its circumstances. In addition to working directly with sole traders and directors of companies, we also work in partnership with other accountants, specifically those firms who don't offer specialist insolvency services. If, for example, your existing accountant seeks our assistance, they can be assured that we will work with you only in providing you with insolvency related advice, in providing an independent, objective sounding board for you and your accountant to assess where you are at the minute 
and what you should be doing going forward. If you or your accountant would like to contact me, my contact details will appear on the next screen. The important point to remember in all of this is that the earlier our advice is sought, the more potential there is for the company or its underlying business to survive. We can provide you with the right advice and then it's up to you to decide on whether to act on that advice.